for me and my family I was bringing into the New Year's the other day and went into a praise and worship and the things that I actually witnessed were going in hell and as in heaven and during my praise and worship through the Holy Spirit I was walking in hell on like a coal, a very hot coal. Though I didn't feel it, though I, my feet was barefoot, I didn't feel it, but it was a very sharp type of coal. On the far right of, of me, there were so many people burning and yelling and screaming, calling out to God, asking them to help me. There were so many people that was arms was reaching out towards me as if I can help them. And in the spirit, I was constantly praying to the Lord, Lord, they're calling out to you, help them. I remember having these two huge guardian angels, one on the left, one on the right. Their forearm was so wide. I didn't see the face, but I knew that they had to be very, very big guardian angels because their forearms had to be about maybe 10, 12 inches wide. They had very sharp veins in their hands and they had a very wide, long sword. The sword that they was carrying, it was a very wide and thick sword. It was shaped like a, a regular type sword and it had these diamonds aura going down each side, diamonds down the middle, very sharp, crystal clear diamonds on each side of them. And they was walking on each side of me, guiding me through hell. And um, during my walk, it seemed like I was actually on the upper part of a tier where I can look on the right side of me and just see so many people who have been in hell for many years and who have perished. And from the far right, there was people that was actually falling into hell. Basically, those are the ones that just got judged. There was other people who just came to hell and they didn't even know that they was even there. It's like they opened their eyes, they was there, they was just in shock that they was actually there. I remember seeing one guy, very tall, looked more like he was uh, of a, of a of Italian um, origin and very attractive. And he was just like like looking around. He had a, like a bluish suit with like black shoes. And I can just see him in his face like, wh where else I'm at? Where I'm, where I'm at? Why is I'm here? And then when I look back again, you can just hear him. It looked like something came and snatched them away. When, they, when I look there to the right, it was a huge demonic form with wings came and snatched them. And all I heard was an, ah, that was it. He was gone. The bodies that I seen, they were being, bodies that was being ripped apart, um, tortured, con constantly, over and over again, just tortured, demons all over the place flying, and they were just some of the hideous looking creatures you ever want to imagine. Um, and I always, and I looked at it, and I was like, my God, I was constantly calling out to God, help them, help them. They're, they're calling for you, Lord. And all I heard was, Lord, was said their judgment was done. It was complete. It was complete. That's all I kept hearing the Lord said their judgment is complete. Then I remember seeing this one woman. It was like she was like an arm distance from me. She was a beautiful woman. And I realized that she was one of my ancient she was like an Egyptian, she was an Egyptian prince in which I was related to. She was a princess. She was very beautiful, very fair skin, very long hair. She had a, she actually had like a, a long white robe and on her wrists, there were like diamond clips, thick diamond clips with the ancient Egyptian writing in the side. And she was just reaching out to me speaking in her ancient language to, to help me get out, get me out of here. I've been here for many years. Help me. I'm in torment. 
though she was fully clothed and fully formed with, with flesh and skin, she was very tall, a good six, eight, seven feet, very tall, very beautiful. And nothing I can do. I couldn't touch her. There was nothing that I can do. She was just reaching out to me, just like if she was arm reach. The heat, I must say, was very extensive. Though it didn't bother me, I can still feel the heat and how hot hell was and how hot the people that was being tortured and dying, going to hell. It was so hot that my hair was just blowing because of the heat. It was just blowing because of, because of the heat and the wind. The stench, the smell, was like a smell that you never can even imagine. It smelled worse than a garbage truck. It was the worst smell ever. Though these two angels continued to keep walking down this path road, there were just more people I kept witnessing, more people falling and being judged and not knowing that they actually died and went to hell. What I was actually wearing was like a robe, like a purple, pinkish type of robe. And it covered all the way to my wrist and to my ankle. And I remember just walking along and looking and just wanted to get out of there. But it was a place that the Lord took me to see during during my Holy Spirit, during speaking to the Lord. And the languages were multi-languages that I was speaking through. There were languages that's not even written, that's not even spoken. There were ancient, there was the language which consists of ancient African, Chinese, Japanese, Thailand, Taiwan, very, very ancient language. And I remember seeing these two demons on the right side of me. And when I was walking, I noticed that everything was moving out the way from me. And in a distance, I was wondering why was that just more of the road? You know, there was those were demonic spirits that was moving out of my way. And I seen these other demons on the right side of me and they was just, they was just the hideous things you ever want to see. And they were speaking in their language, though that was a very, very ancient demonic language. I was able to translate it in an English language and they just kept saying, we can't touch her, we can't touch her. And the more I would look at them and look at the other ones that was there, they were like veering themselves away from me. Like they would, they didn't want to see me. They didn't want to see my face. And the more I kept walking and you can just hear them say, we can't touch her. We can't get near her. We, we just can't touch her. And I just prayed. I just said, I wanted to get out of this place. I just wanted, I just didn't want to be there anymore. Cause all the t torture and the torment that was going on. So next thing you know, I was able to walk out I walked out in the light and when I walked out in the light I knew I was in heaven and I was walking on this grass this very grassy it doesn't feel like grass but it was very very comfortable type of grass it felt like clouds underneath my feet and then I was wondering where, where the, the sound was coming from and it was flowers I was I was just kept hearing this charm and this 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 sound that was very very beautiful, and I looked down. I was like, "Where's the sound coming from?" I was looking up, but then I looked down. I, it was flowers. The flowers were singing, and they was glorifying me that I was there, and they was just singing, and their bodies were swaying back and forth, and it looked like the arms of the flowers was like moving back and forth, and the color of the flowers, the array of colors was was not the type of colors you've seen of an artist. It was just beautiful. The outline of the flowers were in like crystal clear diamonds and they were outline shape. You've seen a flower that was yellow, but then 
it went from yellow to red and red to green and they had this very nice bright aura and the further I kept walking the further I kept walking I noticed that there was a very huge door very very huge door and I realized that that was heaven's gate and I was walking and I was walking and I never seen a door that huge just the width of the door was maybe more than two three length wide um, a football field and then I looked up and the top was endless you couldn't even see the top and then from a distance that the people that was actually in the door they was waving me in like come on in you're welcome you're welcome Wave, waving me in though both angels were still walking on my side I was like I just I just wanted to just be I just wanted to go in I, I didn't even want to turn back around and and look on back at me because I did I'll be thinking I was still in hell because it was it's the image that's being placed in your mind you can't never imagine it was one of the darkest densest place I ever seen in my life very eerie very scary it's like you can close your eyes hell is more darker than you close your eyes though there was light in certain areas I was able to still see in full detail about everything that I witnessed and everything that I discovered and everything that I felt hell is real heaven is real the Holy Spirit brought this into my soul the speaking in the Holy Spirit is mesmerizing because there's things that you can see that's not in the physical realm but in the spiritual realm and I just thank God for what he showed me and I would like to share this with you and everyone else if you have a comment you can please comment about what I actually witnessed or the, or the things that I was speaking about thank you for watching thank you for listening